welcome and thank you so much for joining us for the very first ever streamed draw for the Discovery Walter Sisulu Soccer Challenge. Yes, it is back and you can believe that it will be happening at this time around. I am Malerato Pajo and I'm going to be your draw master for today. So a couple of things to get out of the way. First and foremost, we're very pleased to announce that we will have the tournament this time around. The 18th edition of the Discovery Walter Sisulu Soccer Challenge. But it will be under closed doors. Why? Because of the surge in numbers, because of the pandemic. But also our priority is to ensure the safety of the fans, the participants, and of course all those that love the beautiful games. But also ensuring that everyone will be vaccinated from the people that will be attending the games from a media perspective as well as the players as well as the coaching staff. Alongside me are the two gentlemen that, that have been heavily involved with this tournament, but one name stands out, and this name is very synonymous with the Discovery Walter Sisulu Soccer Challenge, and that is Mr. Phil Mohodi, one of the voices that stand out. Sultry voices, always behind the mic in these games, and that is Uleza Matebula. Gents, thank you so much for joining me. I'll start with you, Dr. Phil. I mean, I think the biggest message with this tournament is that we must ensure that it is done um, following all the safety precautions, safety measures, ensuring the safety of everyone involved in this. Behind closed doors this time around, let's talk about that. Yeah, thank you. I think we need to follow the rules and regulations of our country. And also it's important that, um, you know, uh, the, the discovery deals with the health of people, you know, and, and also the safety of, of our, our, our footballers and it's important for us as, as, as administrators of football. You know, we can play any way we like, but sometimes we, in order to grow this brand, it's important that we, 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 we go the flow, what's happening currently with our country, and also making sure that um, we, 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 we don't take advantage. You know, children, any player, a girl or boy in the street can kick the ball, but you need to be done in a proper manner. So this one, you can see how it goes. It's a classic flavor. It's a festive season football. It's a goodwill games. But we are, we are saying to the supporters, please, let's put that that break there. Eh? Yeah, but, uh, you know, in the Kasi language, yeah. the old days, you know, we're old <laughs> us. I don't know you guys, we say, bring up over. Truthy, if I'm the good alarm, yeah, let that. Don't go anywhere. Just, just hold it a little bit, because this time around, we want to show the games. We start doing with the with the throw here, live stream. Mm -hmm. Then we we show you that we can we can go to the field. You'll see the game sitting at home. It will come to you where, wherever you are sitting as a, as a fan. You, the players will come to the field. The media will come. We'll come with the plans for you. Be happy and just chill. Just chill. Yeah. A quick reminder though, everybody that will be taking part in the tournament will have been fully vaccinated from the teams that would have been registered to the media personnel as well as the technical benches of all the team. No vaccination, no play. It will be behind the closed doors. But also, we're going to ensure that everyone is safe and all the protocol is being followed. A man that has been working on these amazing games for the past five years, you will know him. As soon as the game starts, he'll start saying something like, pressure, <laughs> pressure. <laughs> that is a sense. I mean, you know, you've really um, grown at the tournament, I think, as an individual as well. This is the type of tournament that we've seen launch different careers from a coaching aspect to players as well. And even with you, from a commentary aspect of things i'd like to greet all the viewers at home and uh, thank you for having me and uh, it's been quite a journey i must say it hasn't been uh, one you know easy one but uh, at the end of the day i think uh, the tournament uh, has been such a a, a limelight a lime bright uh, for me because uh, it, it gave me a platform to showcase my talent it gave me a platform to see who Cleza is and it took me out to the people and uh, I've, I've grown that on its own you know uh, being an analyst doesn't been easy, you know, it's something which you have to grow under and then you have to then learn that skill, you know, in all essence and in all view. But uh, I think uh, uh, this platform has been such a sensational one for me. This platform, that if, let's talk about that because we've seen even certain coaches that have coached in the Discovery Walter Sisulu Soccer Challenge go on to launch their professional careers to even bigger teams. You have a commentator like as well so many others have followed 
in these footsteps where this tournament has really been the springboard to launching their careers? Yeah, I remember. I mean, with Reza, it's something else. <laughs> I remember the first time we gave him the mic and, and you know, it's a Kasi tournament. When it starts, everybody is speaking Zulu, Shangani, all the language. They, there's a young boy comes holding the mic and start talking English. English. And people are saying, and it's what's December. happening? And it's December. We're going to switch off. And we say, what's happening with this one? They understand? And they say, pressure. And yeah. the people are saying, well, who's this one? They say, I've imported him. And I say, no, it's a guy. He just, he, he, he came with a different dimension for the tournament. He, he, he used the, he also came, came when, I think that's when we, we, we we're looking to, to, to develop the ear. Of a, of a supporter because sometimes this tournament we look at the player we look at, at, the, at, the, at, the, at, the, at the supporters generally but there was a time that we look at the thing remember your super sport your SABC they start to when you, you, you look at the supporters you, you have a camera capturing you know Lorato capturing yes. people sitting there <laughs> capturing people there for just not check but they how, how they then and Keza came in, in a good way for us and also put in challenge for his peers those who are doing the games to say whatever they do and, and 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 the players itself you know giving the players names because you know Kasi football if you don't have a football name it becomes a problem and I think he did well and for us you know that means this tournament has created more department for everybody for yourself yes yeah for 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 the Rulanis, Rulani. Yeah. yeah, the one and only. Yeah, yeah. The, 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 one, and, yeah, yeah. the one and only for Vilagazi, V, I'll give you just a few, you yeah. understand? And, and those players, where they are today, Shaba himself, you know, yes. they, play, they play. You look at the, the Mameludi Sandals team that just won the, 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 the Champions League. The Champions League. Champions League. Khasago, yes. the, the Khasago started with this tournament. Then that way she, she understands, oh, can I play women football? Then you look at the uh, uh, Refilo Jani. Yes. She she studied in this tournament. She said, "Oh, I can't play. Where is she today? She's in Milan." Ah. So you can see what what, what transpired with this tournament. And uh, obviously, the brand itself disco discovery. You know, you are taking the the Sisulu family. What does it do? The politicians also now take a note it, because it doesn't embrace one political party. It embraces the whole community and. And I remember when we were choosing this tournament, the old man said, Phil, if this tournament is going to educate and uplift the, the lives of the, of the community, not only for Soweto, but all the people ac across the country, I'll be happy. I think where he is, the old man is, is resting peacefully. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because of just the role that this tournament has played and one of the ambassadors as well being Andy Lezamini, we need to talk about some of the winners, mm -hmm. past winners, and mm -hmm. maybe potential winners as well. Yeah. Snega Chilas, yeah. 2019. Yes. Most definitely one of the most sensational teams, they were on a current good form and you could tell, I mean, they were coming from uh, a very interesting tournament out uh, in Zone 9, next to PRT in Midlands. Uh, they had uh, played uh, the final against uh, Black Poison, Rulani was there as well and it was quite scintillating <laughs> I must say <laughs> uh, to see him, you know, uh, just giving out instructions from his technical dugout and uh, making sure that they can uh, have those tactics intact into the game as well as the approach. We know how he plays football, he's a quite uh, interesting coach in terms of high press in terms of making sure that he suffocates the team. But unfortunately, Snega Chilas did come with another different approach in that match. And then they played, you know, good touches. And then Zakele Lipasa, who is with Orlando Pirates right now, yes. he started, of course, from Snega Chilas out in Snake Park, Block 7. As he was about to make his move to Orlando Pirates, mm -hmm. he punished the coach who actually coached him. Yes, you know? at Orlando Pirates. <laughs> at Orlando Pirates. So, <laughs> So, hey, it was quite interesting. He scored a stunner of a goal, cracked yeah. a thunderbolt, mm -hmm. and uh, it rattled the back of the net. And uh, there was no chance, of course, uh, for the one and only safe hands, uh, Uu Tiseto. So, yeah, from there, uh, Snege Chilas um, came to discover, you know, and uh, a lot of people were uh, not anticipating that they would do well, but yeah. uh, they, they, they went into the group stages, they went out of the group stages, last 16, they came against very impeccable teams, who are very, very interesting, I must say. They were favourites as well. Uh, uh, La Masia as well. They played against Another them. great one. Another uh, great team in the tournament as well. So, 
they went on and then of course uh, they, 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 they saw themselves into the final you know Mamba's mm -hmm. another favorite in the tournament yeah. unfortunately you know they played against SSU another favorite and uh, it was a scintillating night they made the game Abu Prafil at night and I remember it was a I night there was game. something that you can go home <laughs> we are all sitting here, we are waiting for oh, life. Lord. It's a spectacle of the game. Nobody went home. Everybody <laughs> was there. The atmosphere, it was orthodox. It was a hostile environment, I must yeah. say. Yeah. No, definitely. And you know, it, it helps when you have the, the best seat in the house. Like, <laughs> I'm top. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know those seats. Yeah, those seats are fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. Um, potential surprises. I'm going to stay with you, Cesar, and you know, so that we can just wrap up um, potential surprises that we could see. We've already talked about the track record. I think Mamba's one of those, but also yeah. we've seen players interchange teams. So you'd know a certain player mm -hmm. to be with a certain team. Come yes. 2021, the players change the jersey. It's like, eh, I think this team might just be the team. Yeah, and it, it becomes a little bit of a personal battle because yeah. now uh, you had Smash and Grab, Ayabonga, he used to play for Black Poison, and all of a sudden he's donning the jersey of Mamba's. Oh, wow. It becomes a little bit uh, interesting. So he's playing against Dusko Obe, one of his friends, former Barroca, uh, mm. Sipo Miti. Oh, so he kicks him one day, and you know all all you know things break loose. The referees, everybody, the technical staff, you know everything just becomes a little bit uh, uh, different. Uh, but uh, I think uh, this time around there will be young players to look out for. Uh, there's Ginoski. 21-year-old uh, um, Lamazian boy. I think he's going to flourish in the tournament. We've got Caden uh, uh, Krim, uh, who's been doing very well. He's just made a move from uh, Strokes from Lamazia as well. He's going to Chomo. My strokes. Yeah, Strokes my Strokes. <laughs> now those are the crowd pullers. I tell yeah, you for one, every yeah. time they came from El Dorado Park, everybody would just come from Clip Down, down from Lamini. The, the, the stadium would be just fully packed. You know, so Caden Cream is going to Joma Cosmos right now. So he's, he's, he's one of the focused players, I think, is going to flourish as well in the tournament. We're going to get into the technicalities. And now this is a stream all about the draw. We want to know who will face who. But also, just a reminder about the ladies' team. Registration does close on the 15th of December. But make sure that everyone is fully vaccinated. We do have teams that have already registered. And of course, they're raring to go. And they want to see who they will play up against. We need to talk about that draw as well. Um, that they feel with the ladies' teams. Yes, we're still anticipating more entries as well. Making sure that everybody does have those uh, vaccination certificates and also their safe and and cleared to play. What can you expect from that ladies' draw? No, I think we're going to see um, some good teams because um, if you look at what's happening now, they, they we have put a suffer. If you look at what they did, we have regional leagues. Now you've got a provincial league, which so is a Sasol league. Now you now you've got the national league. So it's the first time that we've got a national league because last year we didn't play the, the discovery. So we are going to for we are going to see more players that improve technically. I can hear Feza now where you know he's <laughs> going. But the, for me, I can I can't favor any team. Any team that goes to the final, it's a good for us at, as discovery. You see, because and, and as football, because remember our duty is to make sure that we treat everybody the same, and we develop equally the so. Game as well. That's important for us because we will be also as Rauteng will be having the under 13 and under 15 provincial leagues as moving forward because we want women football to be, to be taken seriously. Mm. So the four teams that have currently registered in the women's division, we have Middle Stars, Soweto Fabulous, Jabu Stars and JBB Queens. And having talked about how prolific this tournament is, but also the amazing ambassadors that have been involved throughout the different years, starting with Rikilwe Jane and of late, Andile Zamini, Banyana Banyana goalkeeper, but also part of the winning team in the Women's Cap Champions League with the Mamilodi Sundowns. Let's look at this tournament and what it has done for football development as a whole. Discovery has made a pledge to make 100 million people 20% more active by 2025. And you heard every single participant in the tournament is going to be vaccinated. The tournament is serving as, as a vehicle to drive the momentum behind vaccinations. If you, if you look at Andy Lejamene, the, the last edition was 2019. She was the, the, the champion where Discovery, where they give 100,000 first prize. It was the first win for, for her and her team. 
that's uh, the Discovery Tournament gave me the opportunity to express myself and to see that it is possible for me to be comfortable in a professional setup. And I went through uh, to Mamelodi Sundowns after that year, and there I was first choice goalkeeper of the national team. The atmosphere that this tournament brings, the entertainment it brings over the December period, and the talent that it produces is phenomenal. <laughs> Take the shot, Mbani. See you at water. Now we're getting to the business of the draw, and as one commentator likes saying, if you know the no, that means it's time to go and we're going to now get into those under 17 teams as well as the draw. Mr. Peter Tuntane now joins me and he's going to help me facilitate this draw. We do have 24 teams that have registered and now we want to see who will go up against who. But also the teams will be then separated into groups of eight and each team, each group rather, will have three teams and with the top teams, progressing through to the knockout phases of the competition and that is the quarters and the best four that make it to the semis and then we have a big one it's a finale with the two remaining teams mr peter let's not waste any time let's get straight into it Thank you. That's not <laughs> <laughs> the luck of the draw does it favor you or does it not Right, so the first team to be drawn in the 2021 edition of the Discovery Walter Sisulu Soccer Challenge in the under 17 is we have Orlando Real Stars FC. That is the first team that will be drawn into Group A. And, and they're going to bring you know, yeah. a lot of tenacity. I, I, I know how they play. They play mm. a similar pattern uh, to uh, Vets. But uh, it's going to be quite interesting, I must say. In group, or is it? Okay, group B. Focusing now in the first team in group B, we have OPS Shining Star. So that is the first <laughs> team. <laughs> okay. Uh, feel. What about this team? It's it's like. Um, it, it takes, you know, these teams, it's our development phase. And it's one of the teams that have created, give Chiefs and Pirates, Sundowns and Super Sport players. Mm. And some of the players coming from that team, so as far as playing for National Under-17, National Under-20. Mm. All right, so it, it, it is more of a feeder. So <laughs> it's always great to see what uh, these teams bring, especially at Under-17 level. So these are the future stars of South African football. Group C. The first team to be drawn in Group C is Ha! Zola Real Glasgow FC. Oh, Cesar. Voy, voy. Yes. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Another individual who has uh, been part of, uh, you know, as uh, Phil uh, uh, McCordy has said that uh, there's uh, or shining op or, uh, shining stars has given you know teams like Orlando Pirates players as well. So Glasgow is also under that grassroots development, building a bright future prospect. Hmm. We move on now to Group D. First team, Group D. Ha! Kagaza Football Academy. Yo, 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 yo. Oh. Ha. Mm, 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 mm. Wash and <laughs> And now for the first team to be drawn in group E. Might Rocks FC. Yeah, I think it's for the first time first appearance. Yeah, so we, we love that surprise package. Yeah, so. <laughs> what do they bring? Yeah. What can they bring to shock all the other teams that we've Known to be in this tournament. So now this is the second team from Group A. Because we said five groups. It's eight groups. Okay. So Group F. Super Spurs FC. Right now, for the first team in a Group G, we have MZ Kings FC. Cleza? 
I think uh, um, it's quite interesting to actually see them uh, mm. this time around because mm. uh, they, they've caused a lot of uh, problems, especially in their league, I must say. All right, now to the final group, the first team in Group H. Pinville Young Stars FC. <laughs> I don't want to say much about this team, but I'm going to ask the difficult because from what I understand, eh, uh, Rene Yeah, he's a coach. Yeah, yeah. He's a coach. Yeah, yeah. Hanging up his football boots to take up coaching. Yeah, that's why you've seen that it's the first time they've got this, uh, the, this age. He went there this season, he took over as a coach and also used with his foundation. That's why now they've got a development site. Ah, amazing. And in talking to Rene Lutulonyan, he spoke about how this is going to be a, a feeder to the first team that they want to build, but also it's going to help launch so many other careers. So it all starts here because all eyes will be not only on the young players, on him as well as a coach. This is how he introduces himself to the world as a coach. And also with youngsters, they can be quite unpredictable. Yeah, and Lerato, just to touch on that, uh, he actually, you know, uh, came to me. Mm. Uh, there was a tournament out in Orlando, Ground 2, uh, Zama Zama, when he said to me, uh, Les, I'm looking for players, 16-year-olds, 17-year-olds. And he, he came up straight to me because he said, because you know, of course, uh, these tournaments, please can you just get me two? So there's already one player who is there. And Ubab Phil as well, with his team as well, there's uh, two players that are already there. So it means that other people are starting to also see me as a kind of an agent. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no, not only is he a commentator, he sometimes changes the hat and brings on one of an agent. Leza, you want to be a millionaire soon. <laughs> Let's get uh, the, the second team from uh, Group A. All right, the second team in Group A. TNG Academy. Is it the first team? It's the second team. Oh, okay. From, from mm. yeah. mm. And that's what we love about this tournament. Just how it attracts people from all different walks of life, but also different teams throughout this beautiful country. Let's get the second team now in Group B. We have Celtics United Academy as the second team in group B. You know, when you actually are talking about Celtics, uh, it kind of reminds me of, of course, Bloemfontein Celtics. Of course, they're no longer with us, unfortunately, after so many years and serving in the DSTV Premiership in the top flight. That's another team I think a lot of people should look out for. They, they are the underdogs, and underdogs tend to cause upsets. Let's get the second team in group C. Razi Stars FC. Razi Stars FC. First time. All right. So they're in their debut season in the Discovery Walter Sisulu Soccer Challenge. We'll have to see what they bring to the table. And this is uh, the second team in group D. All right. Second team in the group D. Ha! Shawelo United FC. Shawelo. All right. Hmm. Arul. Yeah, I, I mean, you understand that's where the Mavocha comes yeah. from. Mm. Yeah. Um, the cream of, of one of the, I mean, you retired, I think, was. We have not retired. We have not come out that I'm retired, but I think he's mm. still playing. But I don't know where is he. Eish. He's somewhere there, whether it's Kukune or whatever. He's there. But, he's, yeah. there. he's there. He's yeah. there. Yeah, but I don't want to mention it. This is where we break all the stories, eh? <laughs> Journalists, everybody, this is the platform. Remember my hashtag yeah. DSS. <laughs> Yeah. DW rather, SSC. Okay, let's get into you. This is the second team in Group E. Okay, second team, Group E. Orange Army. Is it related to the university? Yep. Yes. Yeah. UJ. UJ. Yes. We saw what they did in Varsity Cup. Finally, being crowned champion. Could this be the season for them as well? At the Discovery Walter Sustulu Soccer Challenge. Yeah, and they came to um, uh, Mdeni. There was a tournament out in Mdeni, uh, Orange Army. It was uh, called Disky 99. 
and uh, they, they, they booked the place into the semi-final, but they bowed out the uh, courtesy of uh, a Manserville team that was uh, a sensation, I must say. All right. Yeah. Let's get into second team in Group F. Is it? Yeah. All right. Good. Second team in Group F. J Stars FC. <coughs> That's all. All right. Huh? They're taking part. Okay. You want to do one better? How best do you do that? You come back and you compete. Let's get um, uh, the second team in G. All right. Ay, yes, a gas lamb. Ay, yeah, yeah. Already, already, already. They must not disappoint. Dobsonville FC. <laughs> They must not. When you have, and you're using the word Dobsonville, mm -hmm. it's only fair. Yeah. You know the stars that come from there? Oh, you look wow. at Njabulo Blom, yes. comes from Dobsonville. Yes. So many others. Yeah, Shushan and Piano you from know. Dobsonville, of course. Uh, you've got, uh, 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 who's this boy? Uh, Skiroko Baruko. He, mm. he also comes uh, from there. Not yet in the top flight, mm -hmm. but I know he's, he's making bubbling his under. way. Are yeah. you giving this boy the names, this name? No, no. Skiroko Baruk is Vusi, actually. Yeah. yeah, but I'm saying that you, it seems you are giving this most of the players the names. Yeah. The nicknames! It's, 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 what, it's what I normally do yeah. like, most of the time. So. Yeah. All right. Now that's great. Yeah. Yeah. That's why we have him here. That's the reason why Kleza is here. Yeah. We go to the second team in Group H. Berea Stars FC. We are playing a role in, I will tell you why, the, most of the, those children, this thing of xenophobia, were also playing part in, in that space with this tournament. Because if you look at that, who stays in that areas, the, the children of those, of those families, because sometimes some they don't know where to play. Now, I think you, you are going to even see the, even the senior teams coming on board. Mm -hmm. We started about three years ago, they've been coming. Now they are bringing their young ones now. Ah, oh, man, don't we just love that? Yeah. We're moving now to the final round, the final teams that now complete all the groups. We go back to group A. All right, final team in group A is Lamini All Stars FC. Says. Yeah, I mean. Uh, Poker face. Oh. <laughs> uh, I, I I cannot lie. There's a lot of players that have come out from there. I think Mfundo has been sensational for Orlando Paris. He didn't have a long spell there, but uh, I think uh, uh, it's going to be quite interesting to to see them represent, you know, their neighbourhood. These Lamini All Stars. All right. Let's wrap up Group B with the third. Team Ha Galacticos F C. Mm. That mm. yeah, see, that's where we come with this age. I know people just say under seventeen. Mm. It's there's more work than the, the senior one. Yeah. Because here there's an issue of age. You know, we're also play as suffer, playing, we're tapping in, where we are controlling the age, cheating. So mm -hmm. you have to control the age. They, they, you are 17 years. You know, they can come with the Bombay IDs. <laughs> <laughs> so it's smart that we, we, we play and make sure that you, you, they either use IDs or they use my suffer card. Yes. yes, and also it helps with their track record as well. Yes. For, yes. for Cesar, yeah. you know, when a player has progressed through yeah. to professional ranks, yes. we have yes. a track record of this player. Yes. Where did this Most player definitely. launch his career? Yes. He Most launched definitely. it at the Discovery Walters Super Soccer, Soccer Challenge. Yeah. And that's the role that it plays. Yeah. Let's move on now to the final team. Group C. Pimble United FC. Ah, the home team. I think uh, it's going to be quite interesting uh, to see how they're going to emphatically battle it out as well. You know, I think uh, it's been some time since uh, they've been trying you know, to get something at least. Maybe probably this time around they could get something out of it. 
right. Yeah. The final team in Group D. The Citizens FC. Debbie season? Oh, man. Another team in their maiden season in the Discovery Walter Sisulu Soccer Challenge. Group E. All right. This is how we wrap up Group E. Ha! Ah, Zola Seven Stars FC. <laughs> I, <laughs> okay. <laughs> we, 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 I, 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 no, I mean, we, we, we know that it's going to try to, you can even hear the name. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so that's yeah. where we, we normally, that's why I say that we check the issue of age, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the guy's so passionate about football. The owner. Sometimes we need to talk about the, the owners of these teams. <laughs> they are the ones that go deep, deep, deep down. And there's a time that we're fighting with him. That yeah. How do we make children walk from Zola to, to Nike Center? I mean, it's plus minus. It's more than 15 to something kilometers. Mm. It was off the level of the game. So we are, sometimes we have to help him with the transport. So it's, 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 it's amazing, you know. Yeah, and yeah. It's, it's one thing that we love as well, the passion. Yeah. And sometimes just how the owners are so fully invested in this initiative. And seeing the sport grow, we move on now to the final uh, Lerato, team. Just before you, yeah. you, you make that draw, you remember uh, 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 Prafil um, Fundo Vilagazi from uh, Zola Seven Stars, yeah. the 15-year-old boy mm. who made a little bit of a hostile environment. <laughs> I mean, he even gave a kitchen to somebody twice his age. Mm. That game was sensational. I, 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 even Sfiso Mieni, Sfiso Mieni, after the game, gave the boy, you know, a couple of rands just to say, you know what, he's going to be a big star. Yeah. He then made his move, of course, to Doronkop students. After that, now, he's actually donning the jersey of Kaiser Chiefs under 17. So that's how Discovery what? is right okay. now. He's playing for the under 17s, yeah. Keza Chis Mfundo. They call him OPE. OPE. Oh, he is such a fantastic there's dribble out the ball. The one, oh, the OBD, there's one, the chickens or oh, whatever. <laughs> yeah, no, it's not that one. <laughs> I'm not going to mention that one. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we yeah. have such stories. Yeah, yeah. So, so he's, he's sensational. Right now, he's just 17 years of age. He's, he's with Kaiser Chiefs. I know they're closed right now. The league is closed. Yeah. But uh, he's, 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 he's such a sensational player. We can't wait to see him yeah. in another tournament. You know how they filter through. No, they he, progress. I, I know him. He, he'll show up soon. Very okay. soon. Don't worry. You'll see him very soon. Even in the discovery, you might see him. Okay. Yeah, he's from Snake Park. Just next door. Yeah, just next door. All right. Yeah. Final team, Group F. Molabo Arsenal FC. When you use the name Arsenal, you better be a ball playing team. Do not waste time. Yeah, we'll make a pass. Yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah, a lot of holes when you have Arsenal FC. Molabo. Huh. All right. And now we move on to the final team in Group G. Okay. And that is Zulu Warriors FC. Yeah, defending champions. All right, the defending yeah. champions, they come into this one. A lot of weight yeah. on their shoulders with that hiatus as well. It meant that they had more time yes. to defend because there were no games last season. Yeah, so but this time around, yeah. Yeah, it's a different approach, different um, uh, scenario for them, I think, because there's a lot of teams that will come with a different mindset, different attitude, you know. So they'll have to then raise the bar, be in the mood, and of course rise to the occasion because it's a big stage this one. And to make sure that the draw, of course, is not rigged, that, that would be that there must only be one team remaining. If there's more than one, then we must start this draw <laughs> all over again because it means somewhere, somehow, no, something right. went wrong. All right, let's get the <laughs> final team to wrap up proceedings for the under 17. And that is the final team in Group H. And that is White City Spurs FC. That's I mean, where Kalpani yeah. started. 
All right. So, yeah. but we're going to Let's yes. talk about this. And that's why yeah. we have this. <laughs> <laughs> because this is the father, a player that made waves a couple of weeks ago, donning the famous jersey of Orlando Pirates, playing in the reserve league. Kopano Tunzane, he's the father. And this is where it all happened. Launched his career and now he plays for one of the big teams in South African football. In fact, it is so big, you don't even call it a team, you call it an institution right now. So this is what this tournament can do. There was a coach um, who, who, who was there before he made his way to the varsity team. I think Vets, uh, if I'm not I'm mistaken, Kroll. We used to call him Kroll. Before he went to White City Spurs, he was actually coaching K KFC. Uh, Kenza Football Club, one of the other biggest clubs hey. uh, in, of course, uh, uh, Soweto. But uh, White City Spurs, uh, Kroll, played a big, big major role in terms of how Kopano grew, in terms of the reflexes, that, the saves that he's made as well, coming into the stage that he is right now in the DISC Challenge. Man, it's been beautiful to see. So thank you very much, Woodbeater. We can give you a round of applause. You were truly exceptional with uh, conducting the draws for the under-17 men's team that will be taking place or taking part in the Discovery Walter Sisulu Soccer Challenge. Well, and this is how the groups and the teams will look like going into the start of the Discovery Walter Sisulu Soccer Challenge for 2021 in the under 17 team. So it is ready, set and match and the teams can't wait to start. And now we get to the main event, the main course and that is the men's groups. It is made up of 40 teams that have been able to register and then they will then be divided into the same amount of groups but now we'll have more teams per group. A total of five teams per group with the Dubai Continentals being the defending champions. Who now has that opportunity of dethroning them? Let's find out now the teams that will be in this year's edition but also the first team in Group A. All right, the first team, Group A, a lot of pressure, <laughs> <laughs> pressure. All right, <clears throat> Villa Masele FC, the first team. Let's get into the second team. The first team in Group B. OPS Shining FC. We saw their under 17s as well in the other division. And this is the senior men's team. OPS Shining FC. We get the first team in Group C. Orlando Preston Brothers FC. First team in Group D. Pimville Young Stars FC. Quick comment, Cleza? No, it's another one from the neighborhood as well. I think uh, they've also uh, haven't had a good spell, you know, in the, the Discovery Water Sisulu Soccer Challenge. But I think this time around, they will want to definitely rise to the occasion for me. I feel if they, they can plan properly, come up with the right type of approach, good tactics as well, because it's, 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 it's not a sprint, I think. It's, it's a marathon. You need to gradually win one game at a time because it's group stages, plan for the group stages, and then when it's the knockout, you know, you have to have a good, decent squad whereby you can balance the equation and you know if there's a player that is injured, you can quickly, you know, uh, put in another player. All right, yeah. let's get the first team in group E. Berea Stars FC. First team in Group F. Siabangena. Whoa. Whoa. Now whoa, we enter. Whoa, 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 now we have arrived. Siabangena. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, 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 hey. hey. <laughs> Siabangena FC. 
And that's one team to look out for in the Discovery Water Sisulu Soccer Challenge. I mean, you've got Uba, you've got, of course, the Bull, you've got uh, uh, Siga Mareza, you've got uh, uh, Chomo, you've got the one and only Coco as well. That's a sensational team. I know that they lost in their past weekend uh, encounter in the tournament, but they're bringing the shoe shine and piano, I tell you. They want to bring the best version of themselves Yo. in the Discovery Water Sisulu Soccer Challenge. First team in Group G. Yeah. All right. Pimble United FC. First team in Group H. Ndabe FC. We move on now to the second team in Group A. <laughs> FC Crave. Yeah. If you know the legend, if you know the no, <laughs> then you know the no what will this let means. you know. Eh? All right, all uh, right. They, they, they're in a pretty good group, I must say. With, with Villa Marseille, Villa Marseille as well. That's another uh, dangerous team, consisting of former, you know, uh, DSTV Premiership teams. The likes of Sviso Mieni mm -hmm. is there. You've got uh, the former Orlando Pirates defender Roy Mahamuta as well. Uh, you do have, of course, Siabong Azulu, who we have touched on. He's also playing there. So that's the cream de la pata. Even Karabo Stitch. Ah, keeping a rhythm of Halas Ah, a 17. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Second team in Group B. All right. That is Midlands All Stars F. I, I, I really want to touch base on that one because there's a player already who's playing for Black Leopards, yes. Lebuhang Sinsu, Lion King. Mm. Uh, we call him the sniper in the neighborhood. He's playing for uh, Black Leopards in the Glad African Championship right now. So, uh, Discovery yet again from Discovery is from this tournament yet again to the Glad African Championship, Lebuhang Sinsu. They call him the Lion King. All right, he doesn't say the cream de la creme, he says the cream de la pata. Mm -hmm. ah, ah. All right, second team in a group C. <laughs> Romania 5 and 8 FC. I want to comment. Okay. All right. Yeah, the, the, nice gonna, and short. It's going to be quite interesting to yeah. see who they come with because there's a lot of players <laughs> that are playing for Amantariana as yeah. well as the Romanians as well, because that team is from Pimville as well. Yeah. So, eh, eh, quite interesting that one, eh? Mm -hmm. Second team, Group D. Pimville, West Ham, FC. Second team, Group Lamini X1 Experience FC. That's another team that has managed to also produce uh, some sure players, the, the likes of Tuso Pala as well. Mm -hmm. He used to play there as well. Yeah. Second team, Group F. River Park FC. <laughs> we were just dissecting uh, me and Mr. Phil Mokhodu. Where is the coach of that team going to do Don't the go there. <laughs> All right. <laughs> ah, second team, Group G. <laughs> That's it. Don't go there. Suga, suga, suga. <laughs> Black Madita FC. All right. We move on now to the second team in a group H. One Touch Academy. All right. We now go back to the third team now in a group A. Remember, 
all the groups will have five teams because we have 40 teams that have registered for this one. TNG Academy. We move now to the third team in group B. Flamingo FC. All right, now for the third team in group C. Strokes, my he come diamonds. Yo, like a den. Yo, like a den. Strokes, my strokes. Ronald Wee, Caden Cream, Chinoski, of course. A flabberinko on that left and flank side, causing a lot of trajectory problems for all the fullbacks that are going to be playing against them. Uh, and that, that team is the one that we were speaking about and saying that they draw people from all the way from Clip Down, El Dorado Park, of course, even the bits of parts of North Kaseh and West Bay, they also come through. Okay. Yeah. Third team of Group D. Protea Amagents FC. A team from my neighborhood, just next to me. Yeah, uh, an intelligent team, I must say, in Kululego, the coach, is going to be very, very interesting to see what he brings on the radar. He also uh, had uh, the former Orlando Pirates, um, man, Clifford Ngoven. I know a lot of people were asking where he is right now, but it's going to be see, quite uh, interesting to see. E, Group E, the third team in Group E. Right. Triple S. <laughs> Sabelo Super Stars FC. That's good one. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Um, I, I, I think it's one of the team in Dube. Um, uh, you'll see the other one will be coming also. At least he'll be there mm -hmm. and hope that uh, people will see him. Uh, what he's doing on, 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 on TV, that it doesn't change. Mm -hmm. They're going to see the really Rulani. On the, on, the, on, the, on, the, on, the, on the on the field, you know, the t other teams they, 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 they get loose because of him, not because of his team. Mm. Yeah, because the way he talks, you know, express yeah, himself. Yeah, very pragmatic coach <laughs> and astute coach as well. Yeah. Coach Rolane Mugwena. Okay, let's get to the third team in Group F. Ha <laughs> ha. Mamba! Ha! Hey. And it gets interesting. Hey, and it Mamba. gets fascinating because now this group has turned into a hmm? group of death. Hey. Without knowing the hey, other Just teams. a bit. Just a bit. Okay. Hey. All right. Um, let's go to group G. The third team in group G. Zakaria Park FC. Zach Park, mm -hmm. the, the former Tumelo Maduna with Kukuna now, and they call him Super, Super Glue. I'm, not, I, I'm quite interested to see if uh, they will bring someone like him this time around. All right. The third team in Group H, Snawane Ghana's FC. If you know the tournament, you know this is one of those teams. Yeah, I, I, I mean, we need to. This, this is a team that first win, when we start this tournament, they won this tournament three times in succession. They keep the cup. That's where we like to come from. That's where we like to come from. Mm. Yes. All right. We go back now to Group A. Just a reminder that all the teams that have been drawn and will still be drawn, they were not seeded. So right now, it is fair game to everyone. Fourth team in Group A. Crystal Park FC. We move on to the fourth team in Group B. Ah, 
Ba. We called it Amantarian. Yeah, that's the team that I was it's... talking about. Yeah. Right. It's going to be quite interesting to see how the Romanian players and the Amantariana players go now. Fourth team in Group C. The defending champs. Dube Continental FC. Yeah, they're playing at the FC Mutsipe. That's why we're also what we're encouraging in, in this tournament is to create a atmosphere and also create a, a platform for the clubs to go to the higher level. You know, the clubs must grow. They must, if you, you use Mamba, yes. if they only play as a, as a, as a Kasi team, yes. but they don't go to another level. Mm -hmm. So you end up, your, your, your township must be able to have, we've got Atlet Africa. If you look at the, at, the, at the two areas now, the two provinces, KwaZulu Natal now, and, and Limpopo, You'll see that Limbobo, they've got more teams of, of Tlet Africa now. Yes. You look at the Kwazulu Natal, they're top growing. Right. But if you look at Gauteng, the team of Gauteng now, I normally say to them, you've got two good players, but you, you are not growing mm. they, to, get, to, to get Tlet Africa teams, whatever. I think where do we continue to and they, they want to see themselves being one of the team challenging as one of a Soweto team. Because in Soweto, you've got Orlando Pirates, Solus has come back. You've got your 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 Kaiser Kaiser cheese. Cheese as well. So you need to you need to grow because so it is big. You can't talk about million population population of people, but you don't you don't bring other new dimension of football. And the fourth team in Group D is Soweto Super United yeah. SSU. Mm -hmm. yeah. No, mm -hmm. you know them. I mean, I'm surprised. <laughs> 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 I, I don't want to say anything. <laughs> yeah, they, 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 they're also doing what um, uh, Brafil has just said. You know, they're also competing in the SAB League right now with the likes of, of course, the general Mtutu Zeli, former Soweto All Stars. Yo, yo. Man. Yo. Uh, they've got uh, Kakhavopa, Bandile Lajwayo, Spanner uh, from Mbeni. Eh. Oh, what a sensational player he's also. But they're grooming young ones. Where's our Gwenza? They are coming through. You, you definitely see them in the competition. All right, fourth team in Group E. Nollywood FC. Let's get to the fourth team in Group F. Galacticos, fourth team in Group G. J Stars FC, fourth team in Group H. Stars FC. All right. We get to the final teams, the remaining teams that will then sum up all the groups. The final team in Group A. White City FC. That's where Kopano comes from. Mm. That's the teams that I'm talking about that are playing the leagues. I can only speak to the teams that are playing at the suffer level. But that's what we need to see. You see, the coaches come to, to like now. You see, the scout now that's starting to ask me to say, Brafil, where can we get the players? Um, the national team is coming. The World Cup of under 17 is coming. National under 20 is coming. So people are, you know, we just finished uh, those out on, on the, you know, the under 23. So people are saying, where can we start new players? Start bringing, you know, bringing new players and whatever. And the Spurs is one of those teams that are happening in, in, in our football association. Yeah. Well, certainly yeah. the breeding ground for future football stars. We get to the final team in Group B. La Masia. Hey. 
If you want to talk football development abroad, you look at what's happening in Spain with Barcelona. The engine room where all the work gets done is in the academy for La Masia. Mm. Oh, Let's man. talk La Masia Discovery Walter Sassoon Soccer Challenge. Oh, they've produced the sensational players, I must say. Ryan De Jong, of course, who's uh, with the Skukune United right now. Uh, Le Lilligot right now, oh. he, he's a sensation, he, he was actually... He was under 20 as well and now he's I mean, rejoined he, Coach Tabo Sinong at Tikukune. Imagine, just imagine, you know, a sensational team is La Masia, you know. You've got uh, 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 Joe Motepo Matsimela, Ney Ney, yeah. Yo, another sensational player. Of course, he's applying his trade right now with uh, uh, Joe Mosono, uh, Ephraim, uh, the legendary Orlando Pirates uh, midfielder, uh, uh, Joe Cosmos coach. Uh, right Right now, uh, sensational is uh, La Masia. So it came to a standstill when we were all there, not anticipating the arrival of Keegan Donny. Yep. He came there, so went off from Morkant, and he tore the whole pitch apart because we were all there just to see him and the discovery. Walter Sassoon Soccer Challenge delivered. We get to now the final team in a group C. <laughs> Premier Imbala FC. Continuing to football development. Mm -hmm. mm. yes. Final team in Group D. <laughs> There's a certain way of playing, especially when you go abroad. And sometimes they call it Tiki Daka. Mm -hmm. They put the ball down, mm -hmm. they play with it, they stretch the field. They take their time. It's in the patient build-up. It's in the number of passes completed. No, they, they, don't, they do not rush, of course. You know, that's where you find creativity at its best, you know, showing superiority in personnel. Mm. All right, final team in Group E. Super Spurs FC. You can see the continuity that I was talking about. There's a boy that is playing for Kaiser Chiefs, we've seen Chawalala at the MTC. Ah. That boy came from there. Mm. And that's a continuity of it. Yeah, yes. Mm. Yeah. All right. He just stays <laughs> not too far from me. So he must continue being an amazing human being. All right. Uh, coming in at uh, the final team in a Group F. Zola, Real. Glasgow FC. All right, so we now move on to the final team in a group G. KFC. Mati Kenza. Oh, football club. Ah. Yeah. Uh, I, I don't know because this time around, I think they're going to come with young stars. I think uh, uh, Karabo Sheikh Mkabela is currently applying his trade with Black Poison. I think uh, Rulani Mukwena is trying to revive his career as much as possible. He's also nah, playing nah, under... Let's be honest. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm just, nah, I'm nah, just nah, saying. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> you know, he's going to play for KFC. It's, yeah. a, it's, yeah. a, it's a family team. It's a family yeah. team, yeah. yeah. So he's, he's also played for Dubia Continental yeah, as well. So, so I know. I'm, I'm played for Dubia Continental, then you go that side. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so I'm, I'm thinking he's just trying to, to resuscitate his uh, career as much as possible. Or just keep him in, in the, within the space of, of football. But K Kenza Football Club uh, revolves around Kabela, uh, Karabo, Sheikhs and Kabela. All right. Yeah. Final team in Group H. If there's still other teams, we need to redo it. There's no way. <laughs> so this is the final team that wraps up the draw for the senior men's teams. 40 teams, 39, their names have been called. This is the final one. Pimville Cameroon is the last team to go into Group H and make up that fifth team. Mm. Uh, I saw uh, a player from uh, Varsity Cup being called into that squad, Danger, uh, mm. from the University of uh, uh, Val out in, 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 in Van der Bell. Uh, mm. What a sensational player he, he's also been. Uh, you've got Skara, you know, they call him uh, the Black Jesus of mm. football. Uh, he's a dribbling wizard, full of pace. He'll take you on any day. That's another team I think they should 
really, really look out for because there was another night game that, uh, of course, the organizers did make for us. It was Mambas yes. up against Pimville Cameroon. That two all draw, oh, the stadium was on fire. We forget that we even have to go home, and that's the strangest thing. It's December, I, I mean, it's family time, <laughs> and you are nowhere to be seen. Mr. Peter <clears throat> Tinsane, thank you so much thank you, man. for your assistance, assisting us with the draw for the under-17s as well as the senior men's team. The 8th of December 2021, a day we'll all be waiting for with the bated breath because that's when the Discovery Walter Sosulu Soccer Challenge commences. It ends and culminates on the 29th of December with the semis being played on the 28th. Remember to follow us on the different social media platforms using that hashtag, hashtag DWSSC. And of course, hashtag take that shot. A reminder that all the participants in this year's edition would have been fully vaccinated from the players to the media personnel that will be coming through and covering the tournament, as well as the coaches and everybody involved as we get a wrap up from the defiler as well as Cheza. Uh, it promises to be another great one. Yes, not the big numbers that we're used to seeing in December, but also it is because of the protocols and procedures that we have to follow. But what can people anticipate with this year's Discovery Games? Yeah, I, I mean, if you look at the, the teams that we just finished the draw with, from the under-17 to the senior team, for us from football point of view, it's about quality, uh, uh, quality football. That's what the people are going to see. Because our duty is to make sure that players grow in this tournament, go somewhere because they have to take off their lives. Because some of these players that are playing this tournament, some are 20 something years, some are ex professional players coming down to play in this tournament. Some of these players are 17 years that they want to join the Jazz of Chiefs, Pirates, Sundowns, or that. There are also some coaches that have been hired by development teams. So we're creating a platform for everybody. But people must know that this year, as a, as a president and tournament director was saying, no supporters. Said, Unfortunately, they have to bear with us. The players must be vaccinated. The, the, the media must do the same. The, the coaches must do the same. And all the people that are running the tournament must be part of the, you know, we're all in the family. So let's hope that the, we're going to see the best football and uh, we hope that the media will help us to drive this show. Thank you. Yeah, Shaza, I'm going to mention a secret. <laughs> um, <laughs> you know, I've been involved with this tournament on so many different levels. 2018, if not 2019, can't yeah. quite recall, yeah. I coached DB Villas. Oh, and uh, um, yeah. I think uh, I, I kind of remember that yes. scenario in that yes. video. I was like, okay, here's this lady <laughs> actually, you know, uh, coaching uh, players. And uh, it, it kind of took me back uh, to Desri. 
uh, the the South African yeah, um, banyana, 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 banyana coach, and it, it showed me a different side, you know, yeah. to women in yeah. terms of uh, uh, coaching. Yeah, honestly, and it, it it's just um, how they've opened the tournament up that I never thought as Lagat Bopafo I'd get an opportunity to coach at the Discovery Walter Sisulu Soccer Challenge Games, and that opportunity was there. But Leza 2021, yeah. We looked at the names, we looked at the groups as well. Yeah. Everybody has taken a breather mm -hmm. because the tournament didn't happen last year. This time around, you get the sense that everybody wants it more because yeah. last year we didn't get that opportunity. But now, for you who are outright favorites, but also who do you think can, can be a surprise package for this game? You know, in my analysis, I always elude and say that it's all about the work ethic, the desire, and that say never die attitude, characteristics uh, that need to be involved. You know, it's who wants it more and who has that zeal uh, to go all the way and have that certain edge, sharpness and brightness as well. You know, to say, you know what, I'm bringing on some tenacity, I'm bringing on some audacity and I'm going to then rise to the occasion as much as possible. You know, the draw has just simply done everything for us in terms of who is going to come with a different approach and who would want to dominate the group yeah. and who would want to win each and every game from the group as well going into uh, the, the, the knockout stages because when you get the momentum from there the consistency does come and it also kind of plays a significant role for you going into the competition because once you're in the last 16 you're in the last eight and then the last four comes then you see the bigger picture i need to bring up this aspect because Cleza speaks about the tenacity, the mental fortitude. Some of these teams get riled up by the fans. They become the best version of themselves because of the spectators, because of people that have seen them play, the belief. This time around, no spectators will be allowed. What does it then now do to those teams that really thrive on the fact that it will be a packed stadium, it will be a late game? We know 80% of the supporters <laughs> are for us. <laughs> no, I mean, it, 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 um, it goes back to your mental space now to say, bless, we, we, the, the, I think yesterday I was sitting and said, I think this tournament now comes in a, in a, in a right space. We have seen what has been happening with the PSL from last season, this season again. If you look at Europe, you see the supporters. The PSL yesterday, uh, when Supersport playing Skokune, yeah, no yeah. supporters. Yes. Here we, we are sitting, what are we doing? I think we need to applaud ourselves as Discovery Water Soul Soccer Challenge to say we're doing something at the lowest level where no one ever thought about it. So that players must be able to play without getting any noise, being focused, no pressure. They just focus on playing football. And the coaches, you know, if you are a coach in this tournament, I can tell you, some of the coaches are going to sleep the you know, well, because you don't have a pressure from supporters to say, oh, some substitute. <laughs> so they are relaxing. No one is going to push them. Your players can hear you when you talk to them. I think there's a good space. I mean, let's look at the good side. It's a good space for, for football. Now we're going to focus more on the football and leave the part of supporters. Because I can tell you, it's not taking easy. I can tell you, you, you are talking about Sabangena, you are talking about the other teams. The, the coaches, even when he talks, they even say, can we say something? <laughs> Everybody wants to talk, yeah. you understand? Yeah. So now this is a right platform the coach to see also the, the quality of the coaches come on the space. The message that he will be sending the players, this is a space for, for, for those coaches. We will have GoGo -Go Day on the 8th of December when the tournament starts, but you can follow all the action as well as get some of those posts as well as some of the starting 11s and the results on Go Loud TV, both on Twitter as well as Facebook. But also we're going to keep you engaged with all the media releases to make sure that you know everything about this tournament. Phil Mohodi, thank you so much for your time. You're welcome. Cesar it's been an honor. Ah, man, really enjoyed having the two gents here with me to just dissect really what this season is going to be about this December for the Discovery Walter Sisulu Soccer Challenge, but also to get to the business part of the matter, and that is the draw. We wish all the teams the best of luck. We wish all the coaches the best of luck as well, and may the best team at the end of it all win.
I am Lerato Paho, and of course, I was very pleased to bring you this draw. It is the Discovery Walter Susulu Soccer Challenge draw.